Well, hello everyone. We are back out here in Berea a day after the Browns have lost to the Steelers 21 to 18. But the big takeaway from that football game is the fact that Hugh Jackson feels like he may just have a quarterback on his hands. He said today, this young man gives us hope. And that should be music to the ears of Browns fans who have been waiting for a quarterback to come along for a long, long time. Deshaun Kaiser ran for a touchdown, he threw for a touchdown, and put them in position to almost make a big comeback at the end. Now he was sacked seven times and he threw an interception, but the Browns think they may have a quarterback on their hands. In other Browns news today, Hugh Jackson was not happy at all with Kenny Britt and the fact that he dropped a pass at the 40, a big pass when he was wide open over the middle. Uh, he says, you know, you can't do that. You've got to help out a young quarterback. This comes on the heels of Kenny also dropping a third down pass in the dress rehearsal game in the red zone in Tampa. So it's a big week for Kenny Britt. He's going to have to go out there and show Hugh Jackson uh, that he deserves to be out there in the starting lineup with Corey Coleman. And we had a surprise visitor in the locker room today. Miles Garrett came in in his right walking boot. He still has the high ankle sprain, and he will sit out this game against the Ravens this week. He did say that he will take his time. He will not rush back and hurt the team. But he knows he can give this defense a boost. He knows he can help. They only hit Ben Roethlisberger one time yesterday, and he's ready to come back and rush the passer as soon as he can. We'll have coverage of that and everything else from today on Cleveland.com slash Browns.